Where do I go? WW. Welcome back to another episode of BitMonkey TV's Non Fungible Token Thursday, where uh, every week for the foreseeable future on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Pacific, we're going to live stream the Slingshot Sailors and Future Blockchain Games brought to us by Cozyverse.xyz. The team over there is stacked, uh, been bullish since day one. If, if anybody's been following the channel, the, the, the profiles and whatnot, and watching the activity logs, you see I keep buying. Um, I love the Cozies, uh, love the team over there, love what they're building. I'm excited for the future. So today we're going to go through um, how to log in, how to attach or approve. Let's say you're just buying your first um, token that you can play in the Cozyverse. Um, we're going to walk through the whole process really quickly. We are running behind, so let's get straight into it. And I'm going to hide my face, put this full screen, although I can't. So I'll just do this. It's over. So we can do Cozy Penguins, Chubby Corns, Chubby Friends, Star Catchers, Cool Cats, Sappy Seals, Axo Littles, um, I went there a little bit. Squishy verse, Chonk Society, Wonder Pals, and then to be determined, to be determined. I'm sure they have something they're planning. So I haven't approved my gumball yet. It's uh, this one of one, at least not on the main chain. I did it in beta. So wait. Oh, I guess I did approve it. Let's approve a new one. Let's do the, the gold cat. So. Pretty straightforward. As you can see, I logged in seamless. It transferred the network for me. Here we go. There's a transaction with blockchain based games. You have to approve a transaction with every move. Um, so, but for future reference, like let's say you log back in for another game after you approve your token, you don't have to approve and pay Matic again plus gas. So this is just one approval for this NFT. And then for example, if I selected the one that I've already approved, I could have gone in the game right away to the lobby. So something to keep in mind if you're just hopping into the cozy verse and learning about um, what they're building and how it operates. And we're going to pop over to their discord eventually. Uh, if you if you hear the discord beeps in the background. It's uh, because I'm in the cozy lounge. It's awesome. Like one of the biggest I would say perks of this game is you can multitask on it. It's cool to play with your friends and it's cool to play with new friends, especially web three friends, voice chat, right? You all jam together. And then wherever the conversation goes, the conversation goes, right? You're not generally always talking about the game, but it's just a really cool, fun way to bring people together, whether you know each other or not, um, and play a fun game. So we're going to enter the cozy verse here. And it's in progress, so hopefully I'm not too late. Let's go play. We're going to rush in. Um, oh, look at that. We have seven minutes. Good stuff. So, as you can hear, we have this lovely background music. But I'm going to disable it, or at least put it down. So they have, like, two stages here. It's really cool. So, let's go through the, the help. Right up here, the, where the game is starting in, you're generally going to see the current phase and it consists of two phases movement choose a sling and then launch launching your sling the killer will also advance the killer is back here at the beginning looks like a rabbit you'll see the icon more visible once everybody progresses along the uh, checkpoints uh, but the goal here essentially before i get into the rules it's to get from right over here you see my mouse moving all the way checkpoint one checkpoint two checkpoint three checkpoint four it gets more and more difficult to reach each next checkpoint some things to keep in mind here's your avatar here's your name uh this little uh grayed out flame is if you're on fire and you keep hitting your slings and you keep launching successfully i think after like four or five i forget the number you you get on fire and it increases your multiplier the distance you travel, what you bring to each sling, which you'll be learning more and more as we go through the game. Now, the distance is zero because we haven't started. Remaining 1.8 kilometers to get to checkpoint one. You have six rounds to do it before the killer advances from the starting point to checkpoint one. 
And then this meter up here on the top left, right here, you see my mouse moving, it will essentially readjust once the killer advances to each checkpoint. You're gonna then see a new measurement to reach, and then you're gonna see the number of rounds. I can't remember if it's all six rounds across each milestone. I kind of get lost in the game and the conversation in the social aspect of it. Cause as I mentioned, it's a great game to play with new friends, old friends and IRL friends alike. So, um, and then it shows you which round you're on. And then down here, you'll see different slings, right? With all these different check boxes. I'll run through that as we go through the game. Um, right now, what you essentially need to look at is how many players are in the lobby. You see this green number. That's how many who haven't been eliminated. As the killer progresses, as the game progresses, you'll see this red number more likely than not increase for people who got killed, who got caught by the killer, right? Um, but what's cool is down here, the reason I wanted to bring up that icon is it's familiar. It shows you how many people are on this sling. Um, it also shows you how many people just came on the sling. I think the green one is actually how many people have joined this sling on the current round. And then the gray icon that's identical is how many people are on the sling currently. So you'll see that number. The percentage, that kind of light blue or dark blue percentage sign that you see there, that's the likelihood that that sling is going to launch, right? So the higher towards 100, the better the odds. This red kind of break, two things with a break down the middle, that's the likelihood, the percentage of the likelihood that that sling will break, right? So generally the higher percentage, the more risky it is. So as I explained a little bit earlier, you have a certain distance to reach to each milestone. So depending on where you are in each round, you might have to risk it more because that very last row, the star, generally, if you see a high break percentage, that means that it's rolling. It probably has a high distance marker. So this star is measured out in meters, I believe. And I think it's meters. We're about to find out. Um, and it shows you how far, assuming that sling successfully launches, how far it will launch you. So then you kind of cross-reference that with your meter up there of how much you have remaining, right? And then that helps you identify if you'll make it past a certain checkpoint if you're getting to that point. So we have three minutes. I I think I ran through everything I wanted to run through. Um, hopefully it all makes sense. And then on top of all this, you get 100 cozy coins if you beat the killer to milestone four. Cozy coins can be used in the shop, which let's go ahead and show you the shop real quick. Let's log in. Cozy penguin. Let's go select my gold kitty. I forget the name. <clears throat> Excuse me. And up here, it's kind of grayed out. I guess that maybe I could have clicked it before. Didn't realize it. I thought the gray out meant you couldn't click it. Shit. Good to know. So they already have stuff you can claim. Like for each cozy penguin you have, you can get a cozy bungle bundle. It's a boat and a fishing rod for, right? And you can claim one with each new cozy penguin or nft right from the approved collections and you can see that tim draws did some wonderful art for each bundle um they have bundles that they just launched but then they have a allow list too that you can spend your cozy coins to get into highly sought after projects so it's really fucking cool what they're doing here and they're going to expand off of this these aren't going to be the only options they're going to get as creative as they'd like to get you know um really cool ecosystem they're building they're doing land pretty soon um you was good, Zen. Thanks for tuning in, bro. Now let's go back to the tooltip. Bring that down. So we talked about up here. You're going to see that change as we go. Objective. Let's run through their explanation. Ride the slings to the finish line before the killer catches you. So left to right, the timeline. Instructions. Each round, pick the best sling based on its stats and your appetite for danger. As more people hop on board a sling, it will have a higher distance multipliers and chances to fire or backfire okay um take calculated risks to stay ahead of the killer and clear all checkpoints on your way to victory <clears throat> and then it elaborates exactly ah okay so the grayed out actually turns red so the top is the number of players plus the number of players who have joined or left is right below that percent chance the sling will fire this round the break 
as I mentioned, Chance the Sling will backfire and send you backwards. It's something I forgot to mention. A sling can also not launch. So it could not succeed, it could not break, and it could not launch. You, you'll just stay there sometimes. Um, it's all dependent on Chainlink, which is um, its own blockchain, if anybody's familiar. This is a fully on-chain game, meaning every transaction, every move you make, every sling you move, every cozy coin you approve, everything you buy in the shop, of course, you have to make proven a, transa a transaction. Just as you learned when I showed you how to connect a new NFT that's supported by the Cozyverse, which we chose this pretty awesome gold kitty cat. Um, and yeah, so the, the fire, the cold, your winter loss streak, which gives you extra distance, which is up here in the top left corner. So what does Squirrel do? I mean, I think we knocked it. Oh, you can hit results to kind of see who else is here. You can see the history of each sling as well, if you're into that. Right, you can kind of look back and see. All right, when's the last time Sling One broke? Right, as this goes down, you'll be able to move this up, which is a, I think a pretty cool feature they incorporated out the gate. So today we got twelve people. Let's fucking go. Wait, is that Clon? Didn't we see him on the game last time? Let's go hop in here. Let's go. Oh shit, it is. It is, isn't it? He's in the game right now. Let's fucking go. It's also just the flu. Like getting sick without COVID, which that's is true. probably pretty common. Yeah. Well, that's it. Really felt like a cold, and that was it. And like I was pretty exhausted after the end of it. Um, I was I was at Cooltopia twenty four seven. I go to any other parties? No, I, I only got to go to the parties that were before Cooltopia. So I went to Starcatchers at, uh, slash Vinny, and then. Uh, the time dinner for the time artists but those were the only two things before i really wanted to go to dead fellows but i was just like mentally and physically exhausted like, you know, uh, it's kind of a you, you, been, you would have been ruined if you went to that as well it was yeah, yeah out exactly. of control and i had one more day where i needed to like wake up and be like on so i didn't want to look hungover or anything <laughs> or just tired. you just felt hungover <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. The last NYC, uh, you know, Scotty, we stayed up to like 4 a.m. All right. So I made a mistake, everyone watching. I forgot to pick a sling. Cardinal rule. Always pick your dang sling. So I'm not, look, I didn't even go anywhere. Results. So it does this awesome banner up here, which I think is cool. Um, if you have any lag or delay, you just look for the green banner. I didn't even move. Come on. All right. Lesson learned. Let's get back to it. So I'm going to select just looking at all the slings. I'll generally look at the blue number first. And then I'll analyze the sling. All right. 100. Dang. I need to move as quickly as possible. So I'm going to go for the highest likelihood to succeed and the highest distance that I see because it's early in the game. And, uh, oh, maybe I did. I just forgot to approve it. It was probably my bad. Because when you toggle screens, right, if you're a multitasker and, or try to, uh, I like focusing on one thing at a time, especially after reading that book, The One Thing. Um, but as you tab over, this uh, pop-up to approve sometimes goes away and then you lose track of it. Because as you noticed, I had two pending transactions to reject or approve. And that's because my last one, I must have clicked it and squirreled off into something. And then the pop-up went away. So something to keep an eye on as you're playing. Um, if you see pending transactions like that, um, reject both before you hop on. Just, just to be sure you're not approving something random on accident. Good security practices to take, always. So, and then as you can see playing the game, right? So plus four people joined Sling 5 this round. There's a total of nine people. So I was actually on point with that. The gray number is the total. And nobody on Sling 4 that round, four people on Sling 3 that round, one person on Sling 2 that round, zero on Sling 1 that round. So kind of get a hang of it. Get a hang of it. And like I said, for anybody new just joining in, uh, it's always fun to jam the Discord. Go join the Cozy Lounge. It's cracking tonight. 
I mean, we got a lot of people here. It's amazing. So we're going to pop back over here and listen to them and play. And, and if anybody has any questions throughout the stream, um, feel free to ask. And anything worthy of muting this Discord uh, cozy lounge. And hey, if you're on the live stream, come into the cozy lounge right now. Come say what's up and say, yo, I just discovered you on Bitmonkey TV. I just wanted to say hi. I would greatly appreciate that. Right? Anybody just tuning in, let's go hop in the cozy lounge in the cozy penguins. Like, yo, Bitmonkey TV sent me here. I just wanted to say this is dope. I mean, if you think it's dope, up to you. No pressure. But I think that'd be really cool. I'm going to go jam in there. It should cost less than, like, if you moved every round, it just still costs under, like, 0.2 Matic to do a playthrough. Yeah, it's like 15 cents or something if you were to move every round. Well, less than that now. Matic less than that. Oh, yeah. Matic is worth pennies. Matic is 48 cents. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. I need to buy more Matic. Let's load up now. I still have some from like last year's load entry bag. I bought some for something. I forget what. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to tell you what I bought it at. <laughs> oh, no. Did you actually buy a US dollar to it too? Or no? You just yeah. tried it? Yeah. <laughs> don't tell me that. Don't yeah, I'm not going to. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That, that Matic will still last me like a year. <laughs> you might have to sell Kiki though. <laughs> you, you, might, oh, no. flo, you might not be able to for, afford a floor Kiki. <laughs> All right. So for anybody curious, right here, I'm moving the sling four because look, uh, it has less distance, but it has higher percent chance to succeed. So I really, really want to move on each one so i'm going away from the pack you see how the distance jumped up but now we're at 100 even though that one's 100 i'm gonna risk it i'm gonna risk it i don't always follow the pack um because i didn't launch off of that first one and i was a bit upset about that but what's cool is for me to pass the first milestone as you can see um it only takes me 398 meters so i can go to a safer sling if i wanted to but i like how this sling looks and feels right so i'm gonna pick it and I should be safe. We still have three rounds left. So two rounds after this round. And assuming this launches, I'm in the clear. Look, a bunch of people moved. So now six people are on this sling with me. And it was two when I moved over. So everyone really catches on to like, okay, this makes more sense. And then people also know that as you move on to it, let's go, green banner, we good to go. So we're safe. So now to make it to milestone two, what do we have to do? Let's look top left here. Distance so far, 2.76 kilometers. Remaining, 4.43 thousand kilometers. So I'm just gonna rock with the best odds. I'm not gonna try to play too safe. We're still early in the round. I'm gonna go back to five. Five is looking good. Let's click that. I should have a transaction popping up any second here. There we go. So, is everybody getting the hang of the game? Like, let's say you're watching this live and you're playing along, or you've never played this before. I'd love to hear. Or you're watching the recording and you don't know, you don't understand it, even after watching and listening. Um, please do drop a comment. We're here to help. All right. I like how this is looking. Look at that 100%. Highest distance, lower break. I mean, yes, some might say 19 is high, but hey, that's still four-fifths of the time it'll launch. Those are some damn good odds. It's all about perspective, right? It might look negative on the front-facing side of things, but just flip that number around, and it's actually pretty good odds. Dude, I'm shocked you're jamming with us. Good stuff. <laughs> Get some bed, you know, or get some rest. But uh, appreciate you for tuning in. Thanks for uh, the daps on the good tutorial, man. Um, I started this stream with the the purpose of making it uh, as informative as possible towards the gameplay and how to win and how to play and not how to feel stuck or lost. So now you see me, I'm flamed up. I'm flamed up. So I have four straight 
um, after not launching on one sling. So now let's see, what's it look like? One round left until the killer. You see how the killer back here it looks like a rabbit? All right, good night, man. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Get some good rest. We'll talk tomorrow. Much love. Um, let's see, 100, 100. I'm going to stay here. Wait, no, 31 chance to break. I'm going to move 13, 10 seconds. I'm going to move to sling three. Watch that break. Oh, come on. Confirm in time. Confirm in time. I've been noticing something weird with Brave Wallet. It takes. Oh, come on. So we're going to see here. I'm confirming this transaction after the fact. Let's see if it moves me. I don't think so. Damn it, Brave Browser. Yep. Nope. Waited too long. Try not to procrastinate. That's what I'd recommend. And it's successful. So that worked out. Look, I've already moved past Sling 2, my goal for the next six rounds. So I can play it super safe, right? We have now the killers on uh, Milestone 1. As you can see, the rabbit moved. Uh, let's see who got eliminated. We got one person eliminated, right? And as you can see, that avatar is right behind it. Now we have another six rounds. So it looks like six rounds each um, milestone. I'm pretty sure that'll be consistent to make it to sling two. I'm very fortunate to be where I'm at. I already made it past. So I'm not going to get too crazy with it, but I'm also not going to play too conservative. I'm going to move to sling four here. Sling four is looking good. Because even if it backfires, even if I go backwards, I still have chance to make up time to make up ground, right? It's all about, you know, if you do make a mistake or if you do get slung back, it's all right, it's not the end of the world. Like um, you can still run it and beat everybody. It's just all about how you play. Don't always play too conservative is my, my tip. Have some fun, take some risk. Um, it's a game after all. So have some fun with it. Don't forget to jam with your friends. So I'm gonna go back in here. Right? Oh yeah. Is it, yeah. Is that the move? Hey, get up, get off my it. sling. Why you gotta follow me? Ooh, <laughs> no. Oh my god, dude! Sling four. Dang it! I knew we, I should have been in there. Do we just keep riding it? I oh, I, I think I'm just gonna stay on sling five now. I didn't know, so I'm gonna deafen them. I didn't know they were on uh, sling four with me. Um. Let's go listen in, because a lot of the times people will talk and move together. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? Let's make this game incredibly easy or very dangerous in one move. True. Four, All right. How about everybody goes to sling forward? We just see how we yeah, let's get do it. Break. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Fifty percent chance. I like it. I like Ooh, it. We got a cat up front. Ooh, oh my on. god. I have twenty-five percent too. I think actually most people up here have the 25% boost. Yeah. The 43. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Looks like, hey, I like that number seven, though. Got to say, seven, seven. Can't move yeah. now. Seven, seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, eight and oh. six. Oh, no. I'm yeah. moving. Get yeah. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. not enough time. No. Shucks. Wow. Oh, almost 5K. Please. It's like a flip of the coin. Yeah, of the coin. you know. I mean, it was until somebody joined us. <laughs> <laughs> All I want to hear turkey sounds. Gobble gobble, you murlocs, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> murlocs, yeah, murlocs, turkey sounds. Send these penguins. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh. All right. Uh, Sling like five was the move, apparently. I yeah. a gobble sound. Okay, so yeah. do we break sling five now? <laughs> yeah, so what you do is you, you go on tilt now. And you just pick the highest risk sling. <laughs> oh, yeah, you go on. You just fully tilt. I'm full tilt. Yep. Yeah, it's very upsetting. <laughs> full tilt. <laughs> yeah. We're in it. Five it is. <laughs> Oh, it had that pending transaction. Shame. 
God. <laughs> okay. Wait, Twitter has a downvote button now? Do they actually? They do? Yeah. I know their uh, UI changed on mobile too, where they have uh, bases. So we're risking it. Got to risk it to win the biscuit, as they say, or they have said, or someone somewhere once one time has said. <laughs> uh, I tried not to squirrel, but there's the official squirrel moment of this episode. <laughs> no! Okay. Oh, oh, I wish I didn't have <laughs> Discord deafened so I can hear the defeat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this this um, game became much harder. Dude, why, why did I follow you? <laughs> <laughs> now we claw our way. I think I'm just going to deafen Discord for the rest of this game and go my own way. Because clearly, <laughs> when you try to have fun with your friends, sometimes you all pick the wrong slings two times in a row. So let's go. We just went back about 2,500 kilometers. So we got some... We really got no choice right here. I mean, we're safe. Let me rephrase this. We can still play it safe. We don't have... I don't have to hop on three. But... I'd rather hop on three. Oh, yikes. I'm going to reject. I'm moving to two. I'm not following that freight train. I mean, third time's a charm, right? They're probably going to succeed. It's probably going to be all fun and games, but I'm... Oh, no! Looks like I'm stuck on five. I... Damn it. Well, how about that? That's what I get for sleeping. That's what I get for sleeping. I mean, I played it safe, I suppose. I went 200 meters. <laughs> oh, and of course, that one went just fine. All right. Oh, wait, what the heck? Sling 3 is looking good for everybody watching. Um, I mean, even if I get slung back, I don't think it'll shoot me past, so I'll be okay this round, but this is going to be a close next round. It's not how I wanted it. Should have been past 3 already if I just steered away from the crowd. People were getting too risky. It was just, yeah. It's all good. But this is why we're doing this tutorial, to kind of show you the live gameplay, show you all the different scenarios that can occur. Um, so I hope everybody enjoys this. Let's go. I did a hard refresh. Like before, like I picked mm -hmm. the slant when I first logged in. And while mm -hmm. it was loading, it was taking a long time to load. So then I did a hard refresh. So that might have bored you. No, I don't think that that's it because the because that it's reading it's reading actions off of the chain so i think um i think what might have happened is like a, like a block reorg or something like that Wait, so, so you're saying it's messing with the the uh if do you think my character it counts mm -hmm. as two players right now on each sling i'm picking uh not on no not on chain so i think what happens is the so when you move um, the contract will emit an event, and the event basically says this player moved onto this slink. And then we have um, like a, a service in the back end that kind of keeps track of that, and that kind of that that service exists to kind of help us scale. Um, so when we when we have a bunch of players that like we're not all just like trying to hit the smart contract for that information. And then what might have happened is if a block reorg happened. Um, which means like you know the blockchain like diverges and then and then it, it remerges. Um, it might have fired 
your move event a second time, right? And if that's the case, then uh, the server probably would have picked up, you know, you joining the game twice. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, sure that, like, that's my suspicion right now. But I'll look into it. So now we actually have some logs. All right, I'm ready. There you go. I'm ready to win some cozy coins. Kayla we have a uh... two. Oh, oh no! Man. Oh my god! No. The game there started off so well too. Uh, go. Yeah. I think it knows we're trying to co-conspire. <laughs> Wait, what's the word? <laughs> the, the, the reef is Collusion. not being so nice today. No. Mm -hmm. No, not forgiving. Not. All right. So when uh, when are we gonna be able to see the actual characters on the slings? Mm, Fossil yeah. has yeah. Fossil yeah. has most of them. We just we just tested it today. It's pretty much done. Um, oh. But he's cool. going up to Tahoe for the weekend. <laughs> so <laughs> well. Well, we'll probably get it into beta on Tuesday and ship it like Wednesday or Thursday next week. So by the next sketch night, oh, we should have it done. Nice. Very nice. cool. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it seems like a lot of tech companies are taking all of next week off. Like just like a little summer holiday. I'm uh, I'm pretty into that. Maybe I should take a week off as well. <laughs> First week <Yeah>. of July. <laughs> this is a tech company. Go, yeah. go hit the beach, Tim. Yeah, Tim. If you <laughs> real talk though, if you want, if you want to take days off, that's totally fine. It's good. It's all good. I love. <laughs> Tim's <laughs> real different. Tim, 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 just like, just like very passively paints me as this like dungeon master of a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, Tim, you can take yeah. days off, but make sure on your days off you go and do sketches in other servers. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. It is yeah. like that, yeah. <laughs> Do we like he goes to those other servers because he's scared. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm like, hey Tim, do you like? What do you think of this idea? And he's like, yeah, sure, as long as you don't fire me if I don't do it. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> where's this coming from? <laughs> and he only does that in front of other people too. Totally. <laughs> Oh. So cute. I know. It's like a little it's still a little romance, Tim. Is that what it is? <laughs> no comment. No comment. Oh. Hey, yeah, yo. confirmed. Yo. Confirmed. Hey, Alright, I'm booking my flight Pride to London right now. Hey. <laughs> NFT London. Have I got NFT dates on? Wait, <laughs> Claude, are you going to NFT London? Say yes, Claude. <laughs> what are we see right now? Sorry, I had it on mute. Uh, I didn't see it um, I don't know. When is it? I don't November. know. I think it's November sometime. <laughs> <laughs> sometime in November. I went backwards. Are you kidding me? Okay. Wait, have you ever have you hung out with? Uh, it's Link no. that lives in the UK, right? Yeah, or and Tom. Tom. And Tom, they're both in the UK. Yeah, and no, I've never met them or really have seen them. That would be the time. NFT London. <laughs> Heard of me wants them to like take this one on alone and see how they do <laughs> because they've never come to a, a US one. Hmm, interesting. Just uh, ship the entire activation over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you put it on a boat now, I might get there in November. Tim is hosting the Q Collective party at his house on Monday. <laughs> Imagine. Hey, well, just, yeah. just a lot of KFC. <laughs> okay, but, yeah. <laughs> KFC. Yep. Yeah. Oh, now I want KFC, damn you. Yeah. <laughs> You know, not not to not to rag on KFC or anything, but 
What what? Oh no, I, I was just thinking, just like when we when we got to mainnet, when we were talking about like doing a team dinner, and I'm like, like Tim, like you're not you're not in LA with us, but you should still celebrate somehow. It's like what like what would, what would you eat if we did a team dinner? And he's like, just, <laughs> like, just get some KFC. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'm sure KFC is way better over there too than the states. Oh he yeah, likes KFC. It's true. Love it. But then again, I only have KFC like once every four months. You so, can have it every day if you wanted to. No, be, be treat yourself. KFC. <laughs> <laughs> I see. He is really similar to um, Chick Fil A. Don't you dare compare those two. I would say no, but like Filet is uh, really similar over here. They do more burgers than buckets. Oh, yeah, they do more more sandwiches. Yes, okay. sandwiches. This whole sandwich business, you guys got to stop. It's a burger, no matter what meat's on it. Wait, you call it a burger, even though it's a, well, chicken, it's a burger? It's a chicken. Oh, yeah, but burger. why does why does the why does the thing change just because the meat changes? It's still a <laughs> burger. Well, that's you because, that's well, because that's the meat that's changes. Hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Right, got carried away there. So for the sake of the tutorial, you see me moving around on slings this round. I picked one sling, I didn't like it. I'm hoping this approves in time, and it didn't. Damn it. Let's see if it gets it this time. Still loading. Usually if it's still loading up here, and you approve it, you have a chance. Let's see if it moves me. It did not move me. I was trying to move back to sling two. Damn. Not the best odds, but you know what? Gonna have to roll with it. That's what I get for moving away. Oh, it did work. Good. And it was successful. Let's go. So I'm past sling three now. The killer has two rounds to get to sling three. I want to make sure I don't go backwards at this point. So I'm not going to follow the crowd. I'm not going to go to anything that's going to be crazy uh, as far as break percentage. I think I'm just going to... I hate to say it, play it safe. I think I'm going to move to four, see what happens, see if anybody else comes and joins me. And I can always go tell them, like, if you're playing with your friends, three or four of you can move to four, and it would bump it up good enough, especially if you're all past sling three at this point. It would be the smart move, especially when we're looking at 50% here, 50% there. There's three slings that have almost a 50% chance to break. And the last thing I want to do, I mean, go backwards, break and go backwards, right? Um, that's the last thing I want to do. So, and if I had a friend or two to follow me, look, three people came, sling four. Um, I hope this allows me to approve in time. There we go. Yeah, my delay, you shouldn't be getting it. It's something to do with Brave Browser that I got to fix. Uh, I have a dev version of it that works flawlessly for other things. Um, all right. But I wanted to explain my my reasoning behind not going after these big ones. I've already passed the checkpoint. I didn't think I was going to make it this far after missing those two early on in the game. So, bam, and it was the good call because sling one broke. But the other two made it, right? So they did go pretty, pretty far, whoever was on those. But you know what? We have 10,000 left. 11,000 kilometers left to make it to the finish line and there's still one round remaining from the previous milestone so the previous checkpoint rather um so we have seven total rounds to make it to the finish line now it's time to just not be too conservative but not be too risky you know what i mean uh if that makes any sense i'm gonna stay on four because it just looks good i have a feeling two three four more people might join it's going to boost its um, distance, but the break count shouldn't get close to 40. So I'm happy where I'm at. I'm going to stay. And let's go check in on Discord. It's, fat. Cool. it's like yeah. fatty. The oils are different. Mm. I'm just going to imagine chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All bird tastes like chicken. Or bird. Or bird. Bird sandwich. A bird sandwich. Oh no. Yeah. Turkey, chicken, duck. Pheasant. Pheasant. Quail. 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 Can I eat if you don't overcook it? I know about eggs. I don't know about eating. What about a flying squirrel? What about emu? 
<laughs> squirrel. No, never. never. Your spirit animal. Never. No, Claude died. No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No. Ripperoonies. All right, so back to the tutorial. Here we are. Six rounds left. I have 9,000 kilometers to make it. And look, all the slings are low, low, low. All of them just broke. Everyone's probably going to pile onto four. You know what? I'm going to risk it. At this point, there's no point for me to go and only move a thousand kilometers or meters with sling three, which is the one I would move to. I'm just going to rock it with sling four. Oh, somebody moved to sling three. Look at that. I still like the odds. I think I'm going to stay here. I'm not in the backpack, so I guess I'm not as desperate. But you know what? I think it, it's looking like the move, but this break didn't get too high. That's what I was looking at. If that got close to 40, I would have moved. But it's, you know, listen. 69% chance to succeed. I'll take those, dot, <laughs> those odds any day of the week. <laughs> Let's go. I like how that turned out to 69. That's comedy. <laughs> you got to risk it to win the biscuit. Hey, do you have a cozy penguin, good sir? Let's go. All right. So now, what's the move? I'm feeling sling three. I'm going to bump it up to 100% chance to succeed. That break's going to increase because other people are going to see that and they're going to come. I'm taking my 20% multiplier with me. Um, so I'm moving. That's looking like the move. Five rounds left. I don't want 30% chance to break. I'd rather play with 20 and uh, let's see who follows. There's currently three people on that sling. I'm moving to sling three, as you can tell by this faded out number here. Now I'm that fourth. You can see here, I just moved on the sling. The plus one just appeared. Now plus two. See, people are getting smart. Plus three. Plus four. We kind of just predicted that. You just witnessed this. What you start to catch on the more you play the game. I've been playing for, uh, I think, since February, since they were beta testing. But I wasn't consistently playing like every session. I'd, you know, hop on when, when I could. Um, but like I said, the biggest factor for me was the social aspect to it, believe it or not. Um, hopping in the voice channel, jamming with your friends, bringing on people you know that might be interested, and then creating your own voice channel. You don't have to go hop in the cozy voice channel if, if you don't want to, right? Create your own, like, you know. Um, let's go! Launched! Fuck yeah! I mean, excuse me, fudge, yeah! trying to keep the tutorial pg all right so now it's time to move four rounds left 4400 kilometers sling four is looking good to me but i don't like that break percentage so i'm gonna stay here and hope that somebody from four moves over <clears throat> we'll wait a few seconds Somebody left. Two people left, but guess what? This is why sometimes it pays to be patient. The odds got better. It went from 85% to 100%. Uh, the break, I can't remember if it went up or down, but I'm still going to go 2,000 kilometers. Half, almost half the distance I need, and we still have four rounds. I'm going to chill right here. Thank you to the two people who left. I appreciate you. So sometimes it's good to be patient before you choose a sling because your sling might be might improve uh with the people who are joining or leaving now see somebody freaking doubled backed and now jumped down to 95 percent last minute break percentage stayed the same whatever i'm not upset i'll take the 26 versus the 38 Let's go. So 2,000 more. Now, if I stay on this sling, let's do the math. If I stay on the sling, I'll win it, assuming it succeeds. 
Sling three, three rounds left. Fuck it. I'm riding it. Hopefully too many people don't join. Hopefully people move to sling four if they're way behind. I feel like that might be the move. People might be leaving sling three if they're behind me and on it to get to four. Nope, somebody joined three, but that did improve my odds, okay? I mean, 34% chance to break. Do I wanna play it too safe? So if it backfires, let's see. I do run a risk of not completing. But if it fires, I win. Done. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm staying here. Sling 2 does look appealing, though. Like, the smarter move may have been to move to Sling 2, if I'm being honest, because then you still have two more rounds to play with to get 1,000 meters. This could very well not launch or break. So... We're about to find out. Nope. All right. See, see, I literally, <laughs> we talked it through together. So now I have closer to 3,000. So sling one or sling five is what I'm looking at. I'm going to go sling one. I'm going to go sling one. Damn. See, now I don't think there's any way unless I go and ride. Hold on. Whoa, what just happened there? So my browser just crashed on me, I think. Or did I accidentally X that out? Shit, let's go. Let's go as quickly as possible. Dang it. Well, this is a fun ending to the tutorial. Sorry about this. Confirm, confirm, confirm. Ah! I was honestly gonna move to sling four to try to just win it. I was tilted, so I'm gonna reject. We're back in it. So, for the record, if your web browser crashes during the gameplay, you can still get back in. You can also join late too. Uh, I've joined like 20 minutes late and it had already started like one round in and I was able to make it through and I won that game. So even if you don't get there at the right start time, it's generally the start time to the lobby and then the lobby adds another 20 minutes until the game starts. So it really starts closer to 6.30 Pacific or 9.30 uh, PM Pacific, uh, Eastern, forgive me. All right. So I need 700, huh? One round left. I don't know. Like, it is a toss up here. I'm going to move to two. I'm moving to two. Don't trust it. I'm not staying on one. I should probably honestly move to like three. But I'm already committed to two. Transaction needs to go through. Oh, this is really risky here. I mean, I have a 70% chance to not backfire. I don't need this much distance, but I wanted the 100% chance to succeed. So, because it's one round left. I'm not going to go play with 75% like sling three, even though the distance after I joined that sling would have gotten me there. Victory. There we go. And that's how you play and win Slingshot Sailors brought to you by Cozyverse.xyz. Now you do have to claim the tokens. Don't just leave. Don't get all trigger happy and close your tabs. So you got to press this little token button. Got to confirm a transaction. And then you get sent in ERC 20 cozy token which as i showed you earlier on 
you can use to spend in the shop. And we're going to confirm. And then we're going to see my balance is zero because I keep spending it. I keep playing in the shop um, when I can. I haven't been accumulating them. So now you should see live. Your number will go up. Once it confirms, and we can always check here if you want to check the transaction. And as you can see, I already have 100 there. So it did go through. And we continue. And voila. We can also see who else joined us. Oh, the great out ones. I was ninth. Oh my goodness. I had the least amount. Wow. Everyone else got uh, terminated. Pretty sweet. And what's this? Is this? Oh, that's the hub. Okay. So as you can see, you can toggle between the top here to kind of navigate around. This shows you your wallet address you have connected to. This shows you your cozy balance. Um, and as you could imagine, as they start to release more games, I would imagine this is going to start to transform, look a little bit different. Um, I'm so glad we won for this tutorial. Beautiful. Forgive the choppiness at the end. But I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you found value. I hope you had fun watching along, playing along. Uh, and if you're watching this recording in the future, um, I appreciate your time. I hope by that time uh cozy verse and the team have uh, a plethora of games on the market as i'm sure they will fishing game coming soon um i already put the discord link to the cozy verse to the cozy penguins which is their main uh discord um in the bio of this youtube channel so thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of bitmonkey tv's non-fungible token thursday for anybody still catching this um, or watching this recording the morning after. The secret password for today is victory. Victory. It's going to get you a POAP. And if you're unsure about our process, we have a POAP channel underneath the community section of our Discord. Our Discord is bitmonkey.gg forward slash Discord. It's in the YouTube bio as well for you. So as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Hit like, subscribe, retweet, all that. Share this page spread the love and ask more questions so i can make more content because i'm doing this to build a library so much love have a great rest of your week and i'll catch you next week uh stay tuned for the schedule release in the discord uh, but until then much love peace